Hey guys, welcome to Pass to Nowhere. So we have here McQueen, cha-ching, <laughs> Umbra. She's an Umbra, so she's gonna be competing with a lot of people in the front line. Serpent, one of them, and Bai. But she brings an additional dimension, so to say, of uh, being an Umbra. So let's take a look at um, and review her kit. Okay, so attack range, definitely she is um, close range, so four, so X marks the spot for the attack range, not X, it's a cross. So next is going to be her normal attack, so attacks with the letter opener. What? A letter opener? So dealing a percentage of her attack, physical damage each time. I'm not sure if, um, you know. I'm not sure if that letter opener can kill someone, but I think it's deadly enough because it has a hook. Okay, before I proceed, guys, um, I'd like to you know ask you guys to please support the channel um, because this really helps me a lot. And uh, please do subscribe so that you could get um, updated information on Path to Nowhere reviews and all the content and guides that I'm putting out. So back to... Next is going to be the ultimate, so Sculpture Destroy. So what this say, says is um, uh, McQueen is going to be putting out a sculpture. She's going to fabricate it right out of the blue. Treated as a summon creature, it has an attack and scales with McQueen's normal attack level. It's usually 100% and has a certain percentage of McQueen's HP, attack, defense, magic resistance, Usually, they are um, lesser value than 100% and blocks one enemy, which is a nice addition, especially if um, I've noticed that recently we've had a lot of stages where you're, been, you're being mobbed, even on just one single lane. So we have to have more summon you know more sinners which which can summon like uh, for example mcqueen again we have the countess chelsea we have also uh I forgot her name but let's not mention her but there are a lot so more or less we need a lot of s sinners that can do summon so she is going to be valuable um she's not going to be your top tier go to um umbra but definitely, uh, if she's rank A, she's going to be easy to get. And she could sub in in some of the content that we need uh, for, you know, w w where summons are needed to fill in gaps within the map. Okay, so going back to the ultimate. So blocks one enemy. The sculpture can last for the entire battle if it survives. And there can only be one sculpture on the field of the, on a uh, field at a time. What is happening to my tongue? When the sculpture disappears, it deals a certain percentage of physical damage and core damage to all enemies within a three by three square around the sculpture. So it's going to be a nine square damage. So so she has the ability to create and to destroy. Once she destroys, then there will be core damage to all enemies. So it's going to be only be one, I'm sure. So, but it's going to be all. Destroy can only be cast when sculpture is on the field. Cast the skill to destroy the sculpture, of course. Then passive is replication technique. When the sculpture is on the field, McQueen's normal attack deals an additional percentage of physical damage based on the sculpture's attack. So deceptive deals passive. When the sculpture is on the field, McQueen and the sculpture receive a certain damage boost. So it's better that they're, they're the field, both of them. And they share a lot of health for each other. So they're going to be buffed. Both passives give them buffs. That's it. So initial attribute, the sinner who is adept on controlling sculptures for physical output deals core damage when casting the ultimate. Core damage dealt by ultimate is increased. And exclusive crime brand is specify one island sinner in the remainder of the battle. Sculpture no longer has McQueen's attribute, but it but instead has a certain percentage of that sinner's attack. Maximum HP defense and magic resistance at the moment the skill is cast. Has a cooldown after each use. This is going to be good, especially if you can pick 
one of your fellow sinners that has um, terrific attack, then the sculpture will also have that stat and also the other stats, of course. So, what do I think of McQueen? Well, I think she's a good addition to your your team, um, especially if you want to again slot in somebody who can do summons, especially in the Umbra position. There you go. So comments down, comment down in the comment section below, and let's discuss. Um, she's easy to get. She's easy to unshackle or to shackle. Sorry, to shackle. So more or less, she's going to be part of your tier, I'm sure. But again, what I'm saying is, is she worth swapping in or out of your main team? Probably uh, yes. Is she worth it as you, as one of your main umbras? Probably yes as well, if you are still beginning this game. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.